Good morning, folks. Welcome along. <laughs> Are you bringing him? Yeah, he's up there. He's coming. <laughs> Welcome along to the vlog today. We are going into work after spending most of the morning sat in front of the computer sorting out business insurance. Yeah, riveting, riveting stuff. So uh, we're just about to jump in the car and go down there and I'll talk a little bit more in detail about what this insurance cover actually is when we arrive. Here just opening up, and uh, a delivery's arrived for me. Check it out. Free and rotating spray ball. So we'll put that bad boy in action next week and see if it actually works. If it does, I'll probably sub out all the spray balls for this because I think it'll be better coverage all round. So talking of insurance, our insurance has just been renewed for the pub and the brewery. We've had to split the policy now because we've moved into this bigger venue uh, so to give you guys an idea out there if you're gonna take on some pub or brewery insurance we're using a company called Dove Clark and for the pub uh, it's inclusive of public liability product liability employers liability all that kind of jazz and it's costing us uh, around 800 pound a year which is pretty reasonable considering the amount of cover that we've got and then for the brewery it's 750 a year separately and that kind of covers your stock it covers uh, if we did brewery tours if we went to trade fairs all that kind of jazz so it's pretty uh, pretty inclusive insurance package but so far these are the guys who've looked after me the most out of everybody out there it's a chap called Matt who looks after our account and the company is Dove Clark Right old chaps, so we're going to take the spray ball out of the boil kettle and I'm going to remove it from the, uh, the arm. Different thread on this, I've gone for the three quarter thread uh, but I think I have an adapter. I think So this should allow me to go from the half inch BSP, oh perfectly, to the three quarter inch BSP and then we can pop this spray ball into the tank today and give it a test. So this was like 99p or something like that from China and it arrived within a week. That ain't bad in my book. So let's get a little bit of the old uh, PTFE tape on the threads. This will just prevent any leaks and uh, allow more of the spray pressure to obviously go through the spray holes or slits or slots, meaning that we get the best coverage possible because, I mean, if you listen to it, does sound a little bit chintzy. I'm hoping that that is just the bearings not having any lubrication on them, which of course they wouldn't, would they? Otherwise you're introducing lubricants, oils, greases and whatnot into, uh, into the system. That was the RJT nut just fell off. So the plan is 
Ah, there we go. Tighten that back up. Get the RJT back on. Come on, bad boy. Oh, bloody dust on RJT now. Uh, so yes, uh, I'm hoping that the actual cleaner itself lubricates. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. I'm hoping <laughs> that the cleaner lubricates the spray ball and allows it to maintain its rotation without the need for greasers. But there we go. So we've subbed out the old style hold, hold, yeah, holes are drilled in there. God, I, honestly, if I could speak English, I'd be pretty good. Uh, it's a smaller ball, but, you know, it's uh, not the size of the nail, is it? It's the hammer that you're hitting it in with that counts. So let's pop this onto the boil kettle and turn the caustic back on and have a look. Okay, so the spray ball assembly just drops in there like quit. And then we can attach our caustic hose and of course introducing the R clips to prevent it coming off when we've got pressure on there. And then what I'm gonna do is go down the bottom, turn on the pump, and then hopefully this will start to rotate. If you can see it, I'm gonna start it off really slowly, and then we'll come back and slowly increase the pressure to see what we get in terms of rotation. So, that. That on. So that barely just cracked, and I think you can see that we're literally just trickling out there. So let's give it a little bit more pressure. conscious that this could go everywhere. Ah, it is rotating now. Well, that's a good thing. So it's kind of a bit long. Oh yeah. Well, it's certainly spinning around really fast. I just don't turn it on full whack with it uh, just having, with it having caustic in there, you know? Let's close the lid and go full whack with it. Leave it for a few minutes and then see how clean the tank is when we come back. So this is what 160 quid gets you from Niche Solutions framing you fucking dip. So uh, we've got 20 kilograms of DWB. It's actually their proprietary brand, NWB, but for all intents and purposes, it's the same stuff. Oh, that's nice, the bag's split as well. So we'll get the container out for that. We also got full pack of red rib shives and also 25 litres of Persid 15, which is the sanitizer we use in the brewery. Think of it as star sand for you home brewers out there but a little bit more potent and importantly non-foaming because foaming during a cleaning in place process is a real pain in the arse. So here's my DWB container as indicated by the DWB sticker contains calcium chloride of which it does along with gypsum. It's a proprietary blend put together Originally by Murphy and Sons, I believe. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, there's not a lot in there, look. Not a lot of finest Colombian cocaine. So, or well, whatever is in there. 
Why not one not boys? There's at least five gram in there. Good weekend in my book. Right then, so let's see if we can get this off without having to cut it. Yeah, it's coming. my bloody fingernails so I do that. I found an old knife that I used to have at yes. Stanley knife. Perfect for the job. There we go. So we'll just get the WB in this bucket. I think it'll hold the 20 kilograms that we've got. Ooh, that must be the hole in the bag. Spilling it out onto my arm. Ugh. Yeah. Just wear your nice black jacket, bud. Oh, God's sake. Am I really filming this? You can tell it's a slow brew day today, can't you? Or well, brewery day, we're not brewing. A slow vlog day, one might say. There we go. PWB folks. Fully reloaded. Oh, that is a break again. No, I look like I've just had a fight in a flower factory. See if I can get this off me. I'm going to go and check how clean the boil kettle looks after the rotating spray ball has been doing its thing. Oh, it's still spinning after I shut it off. It spins for a long time. Oh, yeah, that's an improvement. That's a definite improvement. We'll be substituting those spray balls out then, folks, for the rotating ones. See if I can find a link on eBay, maybe tonight or next week, and I'll share it with you because I'm ordering more of those. Right, that's the jobs done at the brewery. Insurance sorted, P60s for the end of the year for the staff sorted, wages paid. So now we're going to go into town and uh, have a look if there's a book there for Dominic and then come back and hopefully this afternoon, this evening, go on the pizzle. We're home. That's pretty much it for the day today, folks. It's an early finish. Wow, it's not even two o'clock yet. It's definitely an early finish. It's all that's left me for, to do for the day. It's just irritate Gemma. Something terrible. Hey, have I been irritating you all day, Gem? You're a fucker. <laughs> you love it really, don't you? No, I can't wait for you to work, to be honest. Get pan on. Not today. <laughs> I love her really. I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, reciprocated. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog, folks. At least you're getting one for Friday. The last time I said that, I lost a subscriber. So yeah, at least you're getting a vlog for Friday because I am going out and uh, having a drink. So, uh, you're pulling funny faces behind my back. No, you're just following me everywhere. Yeah, I am following you. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. We will see you bright and early next week to start the vlog again. Might be a couple of supplements chucked in over the weekend. We shall see. Cheers.